With salmon lures costing as much as $4 each, I'll show you just how easy it is to tie your own. Tying your own lures not only saves a heap of money, it's also rewarding to catch salmon and trout on lures you've tied yourself. Let's tie a yellow lady salmon lure. This lure is easily the most popular one used for salmon and sea run trout fishing in New Zealand and South Island. To make it even easier to tie, I'm going to use a strip of dyed rabbit pelt for the wing instead of hackle feathers. The rabbit strip works just as well as the feathered version and the fish will never know the difference. I begin by underbinding the hook, then tie in a red tag of hackle fibres. You can also use teased knitting wool, which is cheaper and works just as well. Next, tie on the end of a length of oval silver tinsel. Strip the fibres back to reveal the thread in the centre of yellow or perhaps lime green chenille and tie in at the rear. I like to coat the hook with a liberal uh, amount of uh, head cement for added strength, but you can skip this if you wish. Wind the chenille along the hook to within about 3mm short of the head. Note I've used my scissors to taper the rabbit strip at both ends before tying it on at the head. Use hook sizes from 1 down to 4. Here I'm using a large size 1, Temco TMC 7999. I also like Blackmagic B2 2 by Longshank hooks and uh, Kamazan B175s. Mostly I like to tie my uh, lures on size 2 hooks. Then I wrap the tinsel along Matuka style to secure the wing. Finally, a few strips of crystal flash for added sparkle, and then tie off. Your finished lure doesn't have to be perfect to catch fish. <laughs>